The whole point of the different notes are to just tell you how high or how low that you should be playing the music. That's what makes the notes sound correct, is that you go with the right distance up or the right distance down, depending on whatever you're actually playing to get the right sound to the music. So what I want to do is start by actually practicing hearing going up and going down. And a perfect way to practice that is by doing scales. So I'm going to play a scale on my clarinet, and what I want you to do is sing along with it. So I'm going to play the first note, I want you to sort of match that note, and then as I go up, try to sing with me. You can just do la 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 or whatever you want to say. You could even hum or whistle if you know how to whistle. But what is important is that you match the notes as they go up and back down. So let's give that a try. <laughs> So were you able to match them? And did you hear how they went? Started here, up, 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 up. And then we went back down on this note, down, 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 down. And we did our whole one octave of the distance between the low note, high note, uh, and went up and back down. So now let's try playing a game where we work on hearing whether a note is higher or lower. So I'm gonna play two notes and I want you to listen and say if the second note is higher or lower than the first note. So let's try this. So is the second note higher or lower? And if you said higher, then you are correct. Bonus points if you realize that the two notes that I just played were the low note and the high note of the scale that we just sang. Um, but the important part is that you heard that the second note was higher. Let's try another one. So is the second note higher or lower? Higher. Great. Let's try another one. That time it was lower. Higher. Again, what was that one? Higher. Uh huh. Let's try lower. That one was maybe a little more tricky, but it was lower. Lower. Higher. Higher. Lower. Higher. That one is a really high one. Much, much higher. And that's another thing that you can start to hear is if it's a small distance between the notes or a big distance between the notes. Let's try that as a game now. So I'm going to do the same thing, play two notes, and I want you to say if it's higher or lower like we're doing, but also if it was a little higher or a lot higher, a little lower or a lot lower. So let's try that. That's a lot higher. Mm -hmm. Just a little lower. Great, keep, keep answering as I, I play them. I would say a lot higher, maybe a medium higher, but definitely higher. Maybe a little lower. A lot lower. Even more a lot lower. A lot higher. Just a little bit higher. 
Great, so that's excellent practice. And also if you can just practice singing some notes just to get used to sort of hearing notes going up notes going down, you can do this same sort of exercise for yourself, maybe sing a note and then tell yourself, let's try doing a lot higher. Ta, ah, that's a good bit higher, maybe even more higher. Ta, ah, that's a lot, a lot higher, maybe a little bit low. Dee, that's just a little bit lower. So this is the first step to knowing the notes is just being able to hear what it sounds like as the notes go up and the notes go down. So that's sort of the exercise that I want you to experiment with and play with on your own is just practicing singing higher and lower notes. I'll give you a little bonus challenge if you want to keep practicing your rhythm stuff and if you're doing your habit stacking of whenever you change into your pajamas or whatever you've decided and you're doing that subdivision exercise that we did in the rhythm section, if you do that while changing notes, that would be a great exercise. Maybe as you do faster subdivisions, you get higher with your notes. Maybe something like this, again with our steady beat. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, and two, and three, and four, and one e and a two e and a three and a four e and a one and two and three and four and one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. You could do something like that where you're changing the notes while you're doing the rhythm, you're practicing your singing and practicing your rhythm counting. That'll make you such a good musician just by doing that every single day. So that's the challenge for you, um, but definitely practice singing and hearing high and low.